If I pull a gold trainer card, I will drink again because that might as well be just pulling a non-hit. What is up guys and welcome once again to Six Pack Saturday, the show that happens every other Saturday where I get to blend two of my favorite things, beer and opening Pokemon cards. The rule is simple. For every pack that doesn't have a hit, I have to take a drink. And today's beer is called Elysian Space Dust. And I know in previous episodes, I've been excited about a lot of the beers that I've had because there are styles of beers that I enjoy. Elysian Space Dust is a style of beer that I do not enjoy and is going to be a struggle for me this episode because it is an IPA, the best way that I can explain it in the simplest terms possible is that an IPA is just a really hoppy version of beer. And that bitterness in the hops is definitely a thing that I do not like to the degree that is in most IPAs. I'm hoping that this one is a little bit mellower, but I'm going in thinking that I'm not going to like this. As with all beers that we've seen on the show so far, they all have a nice little hipster description on them that someone got really into writing when they got this job. So let's take a look. Space Dust IPA. The hopping is pure star glow energy with Chinook to bitter and late and dry additions of Citra and Amarillo. What did that even mean? And is that even a sentence? Damn, it's also 8.2% alcohol. Shit. All right, it's that time. We got to open it and we got to taste it. Oh, it smells hoppy. Ooh, god damn. I do not like that at all. <laughs> I do not like that at all. Oh, it's just the bitterness, man. It's the bitterness. I don't like the bitterness. I like I like for beers to have like interesting flavors and coffee and fruity and stuff like that. And this is just an explosion of bitterness right in the fucking mouth. It just punched me across the face. Oh God, Space Dust IPA, why you do this to me? Well, fingers crossed we get a bunch of hits today and I don't have to drink very much of that. We once again have six packs. We're still working our way through my two booster boxes of Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. Today, we're gonna start with Fusion Strike make our way to Evolving Skies, and hope for a bunch of hits. All right, looks like we have three Boltund Fusion Strike packs that we're gonna be opening first. This box has actually been pretty crazy. We've gotten a Full Art Trainer, a Rainbow Trainer, and a Gold Card out of this box so far. And quite a few packs left, so we'll see if we can get an alternate art to top it all off. That would be insane for a single box. I feel like I have seen some Fusion Strike boxes that have just been absolute bangers. And honestly, I don't understand. There's so much hate towards this set and I have zero clue why. We have Alessa's Sparkle. Let's see if we get anything. It's looking like a no. We have a Corviknight non hollow rare. Let's get to the code card for y'all. Simiseer, come be an artwork and boom. There you go, code card for you. We got another pack next up. Here we go. Come on now, come on now. Oh. I need to drink. Let's go in for another sip. Come on now. Let's see if we can get something good for me. We got a Makahito. We got a Pampor. We got a Sawaddle, a Skarmory, a Jinx, Sydney, and a. Hey, there we go. We got a Toxtricity Hollow. I don't have to drink. Woo hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Let's get to the code card for you guys code card all right one more pack of fusion strike let's go let's go yeah you guys gotta let me know in the comments or something why does everyone hate fusion strike i don't get it man it's got it's got awesome pulls it's got the mew alternate arts it's got the gengar alternate art the celebi alternate art like it's got crazy like top hits in the box i just don't get it why do why do people not like it it's i, I don't know it's crazy skarmory shelmet plus old Reverse Hollow Metapod and a oh another holographic Mel Metal. All right, well we got some hollows in that stack, but we did not get any ultra rares. We haven't gotten much out of this box. I think I think the highest rarity card that we've gotten out of this box so far is Rainbow Glaceon. I think and everything else nothing. No full arts. No alternate arts. 
Uh, I don't, I'm not even sure if we've got any VMAXs out of this set so far. So we still have a lot that we could pull from this box, hopefully. I know this box had some very interesting uh, pull rates. I think you could either do really well or really bad. So a Rainbow Glaceon is, is pretty damn good. So I'm gonna be pretty happy nonetheless. But on top of that, hopefully we pull something cool. I still have yet to pull an alternate art from like any of these sets. We have a Pyroar Reverse and a Sharpedo non hollow which means I have to drink. Woo hoo hoo, here we go. Mm. Oh, I don't like it at all. Mm. And then if you breathe in afterward, you just get more of that hoppiness. <sighs> you might as well just like eat a hop. I don't know, at, at some point, I feel like IPAs became like the open world, <laughs> the open world video games. It's like at some point, everyone was making an IPA. IPAs became super popular. Everyone was making an IPA. I just don't get it. I don't like it. Ugh, I don't like it. Litleo, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Reverse Hollow Tim Pole, and a. All right, there we go. We got a holographic Hydreigon. Man, we are not getting anything in terms of ultra rares. There you go. And our last pack for the night. Thankfully, we've only had to drink twice. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can pull something cool out of this last pack. Something cool, come on now. Come on, Evolving Skies. We got Cryogonal, Litleo, Cutiefly, Hitmonchan, Lotad. We got a Reverse Hollow Element Badge. Ooh, ooh. ooh we have a gold card? Ooh. Hmm, what, what was a gold card in Evolving Skies? I don't remember. It is. It's going to be a gold card trainer card, isn't it? I bet you money. It's going to be a gold trainer card. If I pull a gold trainer card, I will drink again. Because that might as well be just pulling a non-hit. Let's see. Oh, it's not a gold trainer card. It's a Frostlass, baby. We got a shiny gold Frostlass from our Evolving Skies box. Hell yeah, that is awesome. Dude, that is so sick. Well, it's not an evolution, but you know what? I'm pretty happy. You know why? I'm happy that we got a gold card and it wasn't a gold item card or a gold trainer card. Very happy about that. This is a super sick card. Gonna throw it in a card saver, throw it in a box for a while, maybe throw it in for grading eventually. I appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you so much for stopping in. What a great opening. I really appreciate all the support that you've given my channel so far. And if, if you're new from the short, you're just stopping into a new video, definitely check out all the other videos I have on the channel, all Pokemon related content, all fun stuff like this. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much. Hit the like and subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you on the next video.